Bah, damn. In this video, I'm going to do a lateral deltoid workout slash finisher. I'm going to show it to you right here. What's going on guys and gals? Chris with the Bod Damn channel. This channel is all about food, fitness, and how to live an active, healthy lifestyle. You can do me a favor, you can follow me on Instagram, at Bod Damn. But in this video, we're gonna be doing a lateral deltoid small workout slash finisher. I aim for this video, by the way, to be a one-shot kind of thing. Once it starts, I'm gonna just show you through the whole thing uh, as you should do it in the gym. So yeah, also if you wanna learn how to build some high quality muscle on your body, first link down below, there's a free guide that you can get that'll teach you some of that. Okay, so the very first thing I'm going to do to do this, and this is going to be like three rounds, um, is this right here. I'm going to do a spree band, right? And I'll show you what I'm going to do with this here in one second. So let's talk about some stats while I'm getting this in place. And that is, I am about six foot tall. Right now I'm weighing in at about 199 pounds, and I am 42 years old. All right, so the very first movement that we're going to be doing is going to be, you know, some basic lateral raises with a spree band, preferably the red one. And if you can't do the red one, then you probably want to grab a green one. But essentially, you want an elastic band kind of like this. After that, I'm going to jump to the dumbbell racks over here. I'm going to pick probably two 15-pound dumbbells, and we're going to be doing some lateral raises that are going to start like this, okay? And they're going to finish pretty high. And then after that, we're going to be doing an isometric hold type exercise, three rounds of everything with about one minute in between. So I'll get started right here. Like I said, this is going to be a one shot kind of thing. So as you're in the gym, try to do this in sequence as and follow on the video, you know, or pull this video up when you're at the gym so you can follow along. All right. So I'm going to step in the middle of this thing with one foot and I'm going to start up right here. I'm going to get 10 reps of these. So I'm going to go one, two, three four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So notice I'm not going straight to the sides right here and I'm not fully out in the front for uh, you know an actual front raise, but I'm in the kind of like that middle part right here, all right? And watch my wrists, they're not dead like this, but they're actively you know engaged like that. So a couple more, there you go. All right, 15 pound dumbbells, I'm gonna grab them right here. And we're gonna get 10 reps, they're gonna go pretty high. So one, to the front like this, two, watch how I'm grabbing it, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I wanna go pretty high, I wanna move those deltoids and the shoulders, you know? Nine, I think I was at nine, and 10. Really squeezing up there. Okay, that's that. Now, I'm gonna do an isometric hold. This is gonna be really kind of painful, but I want about 20, 30 seconds of this hold. 20 seconds will be fine. So, 50 pound dumbbells, and the goal is to put them to your sides, and then about six to eight inches from your pockets, and hold it there. So here we go for like 20 seconds or so. This starts to really hurt. <laughs> oh my God. You guys have no idea. Maybe 50 pounds was a terrible mistake. Who knows? Oh man, it burns so bad. Oh, okay, hopefully that was about 20 seconds. Re-rack that. One minute downtime, just about. So, while I'm in that mo one minute of downtime, I'm gonna get this spree band ready. So, when you're doing the spree band, by the way, and you step in the middle, try to get, uh, you'll know where you're stepping the right way because it'll feel about equal on uh, both shoulders when they're going up. So, that's something to consider. Um, also, the weights, the dumbbells, you're gonna wanna use a dumbbell that is <clears throat> allows you to get nice and high too, because if you're stopping right about here, it's not good. So, all right, and yeah, before this video even started, there was no pump whatsoever. I worked out this morning at around nine, and it is currently like seven in the evening right now. So, no pump. This is my physique right now. Pretty proud of it, I guess. All right, so I'm looking for that perfect tension. About to start up here. I think it's about been a minute. 
So yeah, I'm stepping in it. Okay, that feels good. Here we go, 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Down, dumbbells. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And when you're doing this, try not to dip down when it gets to the high point, you know? Nine and 10. Just like that. All right, I'm not gonna do 50s on this, I'm gonna do 40s. Switch the weight up a little bit. It's very advisable to do this all in a sequence, okay? With no rest. Here we go, 20 seconds. Isometric holds. about 20 seconds I'll put them right here one minute downtime so this is all all this that I'm doing right now is for width for the nice roundness of the shoulder okay of course having big shoulders does help that's for another video totally different sets of exercises needed but to get that nice roundness and that width you got to do lateral stuff you know so these are three really good lateral exercises that you can do and like I said before, this workout portion will be single shot, so you can follow along in the gym if you're watching this on your phone or whatever. Um, yeah, it starts to hurt, but that's okay. I try to do this because I know this is gonna be a question that's gonna come to my comment feed, but how many times a week should you do this? Well, um, if you can move around your shoulder and you have no pain, two to three times, you know? But it really depends because, you know, if you have two really big shoulder days and you start getting a lot of shoulder pain, then maybe once only, you know? But I like to do it about two or three times because my shoulder days are very far apart from each other. So, all right, let's start up again. I think it's been a minute. Got the spree band. Get the perfect kind of tension there. All right, here we go, 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. One more, why not? All right, that's that. Dumbbells, chest out, slight bend forward. One, two, keep your core nice and tight. Three, don't dip down when it's going high. Four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, oh man, ten. Okay, and then another symmetric hold. Here we go, 20 seconds. This is a crazy amount of pain. I'm losing track of time completely. I think it's five more seconds. Okay, that's done. So, there you have it. A really efficient way to get some nice roundness and width to your shoulders. If this video uh, was something that you enjoyed, and if you have suggestions for something else, comment down below. But I just want to show you in real time how I'm doing it, right? And uh, so if you enjoyed the video, hit the like. And I'll see you on the next Bod Damn video. Take it easy. Goodbye!